YouTube has three major updates that are rolling out. Two of them are happening right now as you're watching this video, and one of them is coming in September. All of them are important, and they matter to you as a content creator, so I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know, and we're starting right now. The first thing is that YouTube is removing the ability for viewers to click links in YouTube Shorts starting on August 31st. This is gonna be frustrating for a lot of creators that do affiliate marketing or brand deals through YouTube Shorts, but YouTube has thought about this, and they've built in another solution that we're going to talk about here shortly. And the whole idea with this is that YouTube is just getting flooded with spammers uploading content that is directing people off site and it's causing a lot of issues for their viewers or your viewers. And because of that, they are removing our ability to have off site links in YouTube Shorts. If you do have a lot of links in your descriptions, TubeBuddy has a bulk update tool that I invite you to use. I've got a link to that down in the description. But with that particular tool, you can say replace this link with the words check the link in my bio, which leads me to the next feature, which is channel profile links. Channel profile links are links that show directly in your channel page on computers and mobile devices. Unlike the header links, which are being removed as this feature replaces them, 12 different links are going to be available for you to use. When your viewer clicks on the option in your profile, there's a slide up that lists all of your links. You can actually see this live right now on my channel page. If you go there on your mobile device and click on that link, you'll see those links pop up. But if you work with brands or you're using your YouTube channel, to drive you know, awareness of your business or your services or anything like that, these links are going to be a great place to put that information because they're going to be visible to everybody. And then when you have a short that you publish, you can drive people to those links and you can also do it in your long form videos as well. But the idea is you're going to be able through your shorts to start getting more people heading over to your YouTube channel page for these links if that particular feature is important to you. So let's say that you do a sponsor deal in your YouTube shorts or over the course of the month and you have uh, uh, let's say three different sponsors that you're working with, then you can put links to all of them in your channel profile, which is a win. And it makes it easier for people to find those specific links that you're talking about. But the downside of this is that if you have a sponsor that you're working with, instead of having the one isolated link that's down in the description, instead they're gonna be competing with all those other links that are there in, your, in those 12 links that you have available to you. So that part kind of sucks a little bit. However, it's better than not being able to link anything at all. Keep in mind when you are using this feature, just like every other thing that you're linking to on YouTube, that all of your links still have to comply with YouTube external link policy. I have information about that down in the description below if you want to inform yourself on all the details of that. Next, starting in September, YouTube is rolling out content links to YouTube Shorts. So YouTube is taking away the clickable links from Shorts, but they're giving with the content links in YouTube Shorts. But let me talk about what those actually are. Reading from my notes here, Content links are direct links to any content on your YouTube channel. So you can link to live streams, you can link to live stream premieres, you can link to long form videos, you can even link to other shorts. At this moment in time, you cannot link to playlists. That's something I hope they roll out in the future. But as of right now, um, you're not gonna be able to link to playlists at this moment in time. It's just the direct content. What this looks like is when somebody's watching your YouTube short, they're gonna have a visible link right there on the screen, like you can see in this image, where they can click on that particular link and it will take them directly into whatever content it is that you're sending them into. In my opinion, this is pretty cool because now we're gonna be able to, strategy-wise, we're gonna be able to look at YouTube Shorts and we're gonna say, okay, what type of content can we make to where we can intentionally direct people that way into our long-form content? This is part of the bridge that YouTube has been building to where we can take people from YouTube Shorts and have them go over to long-form content so that they can start watching some of that as well and get more familiar with everything else that we're doing as a content creator. For those of you that answer a lot of comments as YouTube Shorts, this is something really cool as well to where if you're answering the comment as a YouTube short, then you can also use this as a way to direct people to content that might be relevant to them when you're answering that question or when you're just talking to them about whatever their comment was. Depending on how you use this, some of the things that I was thinking about is also if you have what I call a money video, if you're an affiliate or if you're somebody that is doing brand deals, then in that particular case, you can say, okay, well, I wanna send a lot more traffic from other places to this particular video. So because of that, what type of shorts could I put together? Could I come up with three or four shorts that I can use to direct all of that 
activity to this long form video that would you know drive affiliate sales, awareness about my business, awareness about a sponsor and so on. Or of course, just to show them some video that you made that you're super proud of. So overall, these are some really major features. So what you should be doing as a content creator right now is thinking about how can I use these? So the content links is dropping in September. So right now you should be thinking about, okay, what can I do for this? Of course, I'm gonna be making videos about this. And I'm sure everybody else who makes this type of content is as well. But the idea is to start thinking of how you're gonna be able to use that to drive people into additional content to create longer viewing sessions on YouTube, which is a really important thing when it comes to growing your YouTube channel. To learn how to grow your channel, to stay up to date with everything that's happening on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and then click into this playlist right here of AI tools for content creators. There's some really cool stuff in there that you should be checking out because this stuff is the future. You go ahead and click into that now and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.